Hello my friends and welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is about cards. I'm going to make a few videos about each categories of cards in this video so please bear with me and if you're interested please subscribe and hit the like button it helps the channel a lot also if you have any ideas about videos you want me to make please write it in the comment I will read all of the comments thank you and now we go to the topic so here we have cards so when you open the cards it shows you all of the cards you have and then there is something very important that you need to keep in mind. We have 1603 cards, but if I open card packs enough to reach 2000 cards and collect 2000 cards, it will not go beyond that. Meaning that after that, I don't know what happens to the cards, but it doesn't show that. The cap for cards is 2000. So you always have to keep a number of cards and collect the card packs and don't open them beyond 2000 the time that i experienced this was maybe six seven years ago maybe they patched it i don't know if they patched it please write it in the comment and i will update in the future videos here food cards you can sort them by clicking on each food type and also the l is here as well so we come to the first category which is apples so apples these three row cards they have silver and gold so when you start the game first you cannot use all of these cards you can only use uh, the ones that are silver and each level you go up you also unlock carding as well uh, now i am a crown prince in this server and i can use any cards but you have to keep in mind even though this card seems to be not very good uh, they are crucial if you want to start a new server so if for example you want to start a new server you want to pile up these cards if you are playing in a server that you are already grown in it uh, then you don't need to pile up these cards for the old server that you have been playing and have have already expanded and established yourself uh, if you are going to start another server and the game is ending you can pile up these low level cards this one here triples the amount of apples you produce this one makes it time five and this one makes it times ten then here we have uh, bulk the same as story goes you cannot use this advanced cards in the beginning of the game so this one gives you 1500 apples this one gives you 5000 apples and this one gives you 12,000 apples so these are just uh, taking a slot I don't like these cards even 24,000 apple is not much of a help because you can take your time and build apple buildings and use these cheaper cards these cards that have get card you if you click on them you can uh, get them here you can have some card points I'll show you later how you get card points but first if you want to buy them so this one is 35 card points this one is 14 and this one is 7 so I would say you don't need to keep these cards any cards that you can get you don't need to keep it if, if you need them you can come and use the card points instead of uh, holding on to these cards you can have these assets for more important cards that I will cover later so no need to hold on to these cards you can just transfer them all then we have these cards which are common in all of these categories you can see them so these are veteran farmer so this one times to all the food production so you can stack them you can play a uh, orchard management times three and stack it with veteran farmers they stack so you get six apples each time and this one you can get popularity boost from the apples meaning that you can raise gold much more you can raise your taxes even higher and higher because your people are happy so this one lasts six hours this one lasts six hours and this one lasts 12 hours so if you want to stack you have to play this card together and play these cards two times every six hours you can stack them and they, it works here for the cheese also the same story goes same story goes for cheese has same veteran farmers and simple fees and special fees so these cards 
cost you 24, 20, and this ones uh, cost you 55. The cards that have diamond are normally very hard to come by by opening packs, so you want to keep them. Um, but the silver cards are very cheap in general, and you don't really need them. You don't really need to grab them, especially these seven point cards. Seven points is just a ticket for you to transfer this card into card points. For the meat, the same story. You can see same goes for bread, same goes for vegetables, except they don't have the very advanced vegetable production. Here we have fish and then the ale. Ale is different. So ale we have hop tending, which increases the amount of the brew produced. If you come here, you have barkeeping so you need these two cards and this last six hours you need to just play this card and this card so it's actually cheaper to get popularity from ale if you produce enough ale you don't need to play this card you just need to play this card and it lasts six hours the pricing is very cheap this one is 18 this one is 12 there is something important about food i just want to cover you come here and then you click on each type of the food that you produce. So here I produce 38,000 apple, 38,000 cheese and 57,000. So I don't have anything to do with 57,000. So 38 times 3 is 114. So here I can go above this, let's say, if it's let's say one, one and a half, I only take 15,000 right so I can go on to 114,000 let's say if I go to level 4 it's 123,000 so my cheese and apple start to dwindle okay so if I want to keep my cheese and apple in the stock meaning they don't run out I can just play the times 3 for them for example I'm just saying and you I don't need to play the peak so this one, 123,000 divided by 3 will be 41,000. And 38, of course, times 3 is uh, no problem. And 43 is less than 57. So I don't need to card that one. Or I just can play the veteran farmer and get on with it. Uh, all of them will double. And I can just run it on time 4 at the popularity and just get the... A lot of bonuses from the food production same goes for ale you always want to create more ale than you consume you want to make more ale than you consume and uh, all will be fine so about cashing out the cards that you don't need you just come here swap cards and cash out the cards that you don't need like this one and then press cash it Now we go and open a few card packs for food to see like how it's like. So if you open one, it's like this. It shows you all the cards you got. You can see that uh, it just gives me a gold card. Normally they don't give you a good card. Let's open five cards and... So it's like this. Just give you one gold card. And let's open ten card packs. And that's, you can see what kind of cards it gives you. So now let's go and cash them all back. just to show you I get the card so I get this one this one 
and this one so I'm going to play this just to show you how with the stacks so it's now stacked after I play this one and then I play a simple fist it's just calculating all the additions so you see 16 so the stockpile is jumping up going up very fast I am producing 698,000 so because it's only 12 hours so I will get 300,000 so my stockpile will be full if I uh, don't put it on times four and I lose out actually so that's why I normally don't need to play this in the late game and now if we just use this card you see this one is plus 60 now I put a simple fist and from 60 goes to 80 so here it says so here it says 1.5 and you can see that here from 60 goes to 80. Okay that's all for this one and next I will cover the industrial side of it and I will go just one by one. Thank you for watching and until the next one.